All right, so last July, myself and my buddy Dan was behind the camera. We were arrested in Greenfield, Massachusetts. You can find out everything at copblock.org slash Greenfield. And one of the, uh, two of the charges against us out of the three felonies and five misdemeanors uh, stemmed from an illegal search of my vehicle, an RV called Marv. Apparently they ran the place and it came back to an RV that was a different color. Uh, Marv is currently black and gold. When it was uh, registered, it was a cream colored. So that's why they said they went to check for the VIN. The Greenfield Police Department, Todd M. Dodge specifically, uh, used as justification uh, a supposed VIN number manipulation to gain entry into the RV when in fact, again, this was an unjust illegal search. They damaged my property and from that search they claimed to have found some ammunition and charged me with a felony. So that felony plus a VIN number manipulation as a misdemeanor. You would have thought that the, since you're innocent until proven guilty, the district attorney down there uh, would have done his job, but uh, Jeff Bankster apparently hasn't even taken the time to research where the VIN numbers are on this on this type of RV. Um, instead, he's chosen to pursue these charges against me. So I went ahead, I contacted the company. It's a Four Winds Hurricane. It came out in 2000, and uh, I contacted them via email or via their contact form, and then a few days later, I followed up with a phone call. I actually asked for an affidavit that I could use in court so if you can see this, this is from uh, uh, an employee of Thor, Thor Motor Coach, which is the manufacturer of Four Winds. And I asked her uh, to provide me with the locations of VIN numbers when the RV rolled off the, uh, the plant floor back in 2000. And according to her, they're located at the front, front of the coach on the radiator shroud, so inside the engine compartment, not visible from the street at all, and definitely not the dash. Uh, at the steering column, which again is not the dash, it's not visible from the street, um, and inside the driver's side front wheel well. So again, this just proves there was no VIN plate or no VIN number ever on the dash when it came off the factory floor. So, you know, now it's up to the DA's hand, Jeff Bankster. Let's see if he does what's right and dismiss these uh, ludicrous charges and quit wasting our time.